An honest review to a trending show, Victor Martinez has a new video review on the hit show, Bridgerton. What's up, Cedar Park? Welcome back to Victor's Video Reviews. It's been a while, and I've only done one episode. Sorry to disappoint. I've seen a lot of people hyping up this show Bridgerton on Netflix, so I decided to check it out. Also, it's starting a TikTok trend of people trying to turn it into a musical like they did with Ratatouille. I guess I only review shows that have started TikTok trends, so that should tell you where I spend most of my time. Anyways, Bridgerton, a depiction of high-class English society in the 1810s based on the best-selling Julia Quinn novels with some added colorblind casting written by Grey's Anatomy and Scandal's TV writing legend Shonda Rhimes. Diving right in, one of the first main things I noticed about this show's production, like many, was the soundtrack. The show features some very interesting string arrangements of popular songs like Billie Eilish's Bad Guy, Maroon 5's Girls Like You, and Ariana Grande's Thank You Next. Which has been playing under this video and is something you've probably noticed. The songs take away a decent amount of attention when they come on, which got me thinking, it has to be done for a reason, right? Showrunner Chris Van Dusen said, It really goes to the idea of making this feel different than your other period shows. Whether it's music or the world of the show, the scripts, the sets, the costumes, it all comes back to infusing things through our own unique modern lens and making things feel relatable to whoever's watching. What do you think? Does it create a unique tone for the show or is it just distracting? Hit up the CPHS News Insta story and let me know. Personally, I think it's okay. Music isn't the only thing that sets Bridgerton apart from other period shows, too. The inclusion of people of color playing characters of the highest social statuses is something that is definitely not typical of shows and movies that portray this time period. The show includes little to no mention of race and the casting was completely colorblind, which to me just solidifies that what they really cared about was the story, and not just whitewashing for the purpose of solidifying a time period. Overall, the show does really well working through different character dynamics and giving us distinguishable and interesting characters, and the themes of social perceptions and facades provide a really interesting look into the nature of the regal social class during this time period. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of royal dramas like Bridgerton, so although I enjoyed watching it, I have to say it's not one of my favorite shows. If you are a fan of this genre, I'm sure you'll have a great time.